Slane University student Sharon Ishno's uncle was kicked out of a family meeting yesterday, after he tried to talk about her marital status. Some family members stopped Joseph Okongo from speaking, arguing that he was not their spokesman. Mr. Okongo was almost attacked at Sharon's home at Magair Village, Homer Bay County. Trouble started when Okongo was handed the microphone to address guests who included Homer Bay woman representative Gladys Wanger, her counterparts Pamela Odiambo Migri, Rosa Bu Ayokisamu and Janet Ongara Kisi. He began by revealing the background of Sharon's marriage. I want everybody to know that Sharon was a married woman and she separated with her husband in January, he said. The crowd booed him but he was not cowed. The husband has never appeared in this home but we need him because Sharon will not be buried here due to our cultural beliefs, said Okongo who is a brother to Sharon's mother. The crowd booed him louder. Sharon's father Douglas Ishno snatched the microphone from him. On Saturday, Mr. Ishno had warned Mr. Okongo against speaking on behalf of the family as he was an in-law. A number of youth who were present intervened as activities came to a standstill. Acting Kanya Bala chief Simeon Onono rescued Okongo by leading him to his car. He left in a huff. On Friday, Okongo addressed journalists in the home as a spokesman of the family. But Sharon's father vehemently opposed him on grounds that an in-law could not act as a spokesman of his family. As this happened, a man said to be Sharon's husband, Bernard Okuta declined to comment on his relationship with a Rongo University student, with whom he is said to have two children all living with Sharon's mother Melida Orma. Yesterday, journalists traced Mr. Okuta to Ripogi High School where he teaches, but he declined to comment. I cannot comment on the matter. It's both emotive and sensitive. You can get further information from the lady's parents, please, said Okuta, who neither denied nor confirmed reports of their relationship. Meanwhile, Sharon's mother claimed her life was in danger. Melinda urged police to provide her with security.